no choices, right? In the first 10 years, all the excellent people join Alibaba. Later, head hunting company get all of them. Those people who stayed because nobody had hunting us. That was true. That was because we make a teamwork. Work, insist, make mistakes, improve ourselves, learn from others, and making sure custom number one, employee number two, shareholder number three. We do the opposite like Wall Street. In Wall Street, they believe, in, they, they believe the shareholder number one. We believe custom number one. It's not the shareholder give you money. It is the customer pay you the money. So if you serve the customer well, if you treat your employees well, the shareholders will be happy. So in the past 18 years, we insist on doing that. When we IPO'd, I made a speech on the Wall Street. One of the bankers said, Jack, we do not know that you are customer number one. We thought you are shareholder number one. I say, yes, sir, we are, sh we are customer number one. If you don't like us, you can sell our stocks. Because we think if the customer pay us, we can sustainable. Shareholders don't believe that they will stick to you all their life. They will buy and sell. But the customer, if you serve them well, serve them well, they will stay with you all your time. So by saying that, I think the thing I worry a lot about today is every technology revolution takes about 50 years. The first 20 years is about the technology. And next 30 years is about the application of the technology. So next 30 years is the most critical. Internet has just passed its early 20 years. Next 30 years is so important. The first technology revolution takes about 50 years. And I would say the first technology revolution released the human energy, the power, the physical power. And the second technology revolution takes about 50 years. They released the distance. And this is the third technology revolution to release the brain, the human brain. But don't expect technology bring you good stuff. Technology bring a lot of social problems. The first technology revolution caused World War I, the first World War. The second technology revolution caused the second World War. This is the third technology revolution. If human being cannot find a solution to fight against together, we will fight among each other. So what is the third world war? I think this technology revolution, we should work in together fighting against the poverty, fighting against disease, cancer, AIDS, and we should work in together to fighting against the environment pollution. And this is what I believe next 30 years, Please pay special attention to the technology revolution. I found not many people believe that. And I'm calling on any country I go, I hope all the government pay attention to the 330s. Please pay attention to those people who are below 30 years old. Because those are the people who are born at the internet time. There are about 1.7 billion people today in the world They are using internet. And most of them are born after 1980s. Think about it. 10 years later, 20 years later, we, the whole world, probably like 4 billion to 5 billion people were born of the internet. They were using internet like what we use electricity. Next to 20 years, if those people who do, are not connected to the internet, those people who cannot connect the internet, those will be the people worse than cannot connect the electricity 20 years ago. And the internet is going to be the infrastructure of every business, every government organization, every schools. And I think there's one thing we call ourselves entrepreneur. In the future, there is called naturepreneur. Because all the business, I think 90% of the business will be online. And this is a challenge, this is also the opportunity. Argentina these days, the only thing I feel sorry about is the, the speed of the internet was so slow and so expensive. 
And this is no good. And I had a great discussion with the ministers and president this morning. They all realized that we should invest more because without that, it's, going to, it's a loss of one generation. And this is what I strongly believe that let's take internet seriously. The other thing I want to say is that pay attention to those companies who have left fewer than 30 employees. Internet is going to be a big challenge to big companies. It's going to support the small companies. The small companies have a great opportunity because they change fast, they move fast. And small companies create most of the jobs. In the old times, in the past 20 years, it, the IT technology was designed for big companies. So only big companies have the money to buy IBM services and, and Microsoft and Oracle. But small companies they don't have the money. So today, within very cheap cost, very low cost, we can use the internet to promote your products all over the world. And the other thing is that, this is my experience and which I feel very good. Today, I, I walk around the, uh, the, min, the municipal government of the capital, and I find a lot of women. 不管你愿不愿意承认，我们的生活都已经被移动互联网一网打尽了。我们有一个共同的身份，低头族。二零一五年底，中国互联网络发展状况统计报告显示，全球网民人数逼近四十亿，中国手机网民达七点。二零一五年中国电子商务市场交易规模为十六点四万亿，增长百分之二十二点七。二零一五年双十一天猫实现交易额九百一十二点一七亿元，其中无线交易额为六百二十六亿元，占比高达百分之六十八点六七。我们的生
next 10, 20 years will be online, just like, two, just like 100 years ago. If your company is not using electricity, you will be in trouble. Okay, so the other thing I want to say is about uh, there are five sectors that we see from China, US, and Europe is going to be influenced by the internet. First, got new retail. Today, we have uh, online sales. There's all offline sales. The offline, the retail, the supermarkets, all the malls will be in big trouble. Whether you don't like it or don't like it, you like it. In the, in the center of the city, most expensive places, people have a stock warehouse, so people go collect the thing. The cost is too expensive, cannot afford it. And the e-commerce is, is replacing them. But next to 10 years, called a new retail, online plus offline plus big data and plus warehouse is going to be the new retail. So in the future, it's not about how could you sell things to the people. It's about how you serve the people better. So retail, the answer is how can you serve your consumers better rather than how you sell your products quickly and faster. Second is new and manufacturing. Because of the Internet of Things, everything, every electricity, you know, as long as you take it, there will be chip inside. There will be smart brain inside. So what we believe, the world is going to be connected with status, with internet. And the thing is that mobile phone, you know, if the, when you have using the, today the mobile phone, when you put operating system inside, 20% of the usage of the mobile phone is by making phone calls. 80% of the use of the mobile phone has nothing to do with communication. Think about it. All the cars will put operating system inside, and the cars will have only 30% of the function of the cars uh, about driving, and 70% nothing to do with the, uh, with the transportation. And the other is new financing. I see a lot of developing countries facing big trouble on, on reaching the financial supporting. In the past centuries, financial system was designed for 20% of the big companies. They neglect 80% of the, the small business, the consumers. So the new financial system, which is called FinTech or TechFin, we are going to support 80% of the consumers, 80% of the small business that never be connected to the inter, uh, on the financing. So I believe most of the banks are going to facing huge challenges in the future. About the manufacturing, last century, everything is about the standardization. Everything is about large scale. Now, next 10 years, everything is going to be tailor-made, custom-made. So these big things that are changing, and also about manufacturing, and one thing I want to say is that past 20 years, we are making people like a machine. Next 20 years, we will make machine like a people. Machine is going to be very smart. And you know, machine can play chess. That's a simple deal for them. I, I always say, when human being created a machine, we know machine will be powerful than us. When human being created the trains and the cars and planes, we know machine can run faster. When human being des designed the computers, we know computer will be smarter than we are, all right? So computer can remember everything. Never forget, never get angry, right? <laughs> computer never get a tie. When you get the electricity, the work keep on working. So I think computer is going to take a lot of jobs. The other thing is a new technology. The world is shifting from IT to DT. IT technology, information technology, is to empower yourself. DT, data technology, is to empower the other side. Data technology is not the upgrading of IT. Data technology is different way of thinking. So be careful of the data technology. It's data technology about the cloud computing, it's about the data, it's about the, the, the mobility, everything, and, and artificial intelligence. 
And then finally, very big change is about the new energy. The energy, we see, the first technology revolution energy is coal. Second technology revolution is electricity and oil. And this technology revolution, the new energy for development is data. When you have data, you'll be totally different. So how to collect data, process data, and utilize data. So this is something we all have to talk, talk about. So based on that, let me tell you, a lot of jobs are going to be disappearing. A lot of jobs, white collar jobs, you think, huh, this is a great job. I, I got a lot of young people came to me and say, Jack, so we are going to have the data. So that means data analyst is going to be a big, good job in the future. Can I apply university study data analyst? I would say there will be no data analyst in 10 years. We have too many datas. It's the only computer that can do the datas. Human being cannot. Human being can only analyze information. You can never analyze datas.